In this video, I want to address this hoax that the pagan rulers or Apollonists, or you can call them the Illuminati or whatever you want. I want to talk about this hoax they conducted the, that you received the name the Vietnam War. Remember, all wars are hoaxes. They're orchestrated fights in which soldiers are sacrificed. So real people die and risk collateral damage, but the conflict is fake. Now, this was a scene that triggered many in the Western world how a man was brutally executed. Well, I'm not saying that didn't happen, okay? I'm not going to look for the footage because it's horrible. But about the Vietnam War, why was the United States there to begin with? I want to give a little bit of the context of the region. First, this is the Empire of Vietnam. It was, this was a puppet state by the Japanese. But before that, you had the Thieu Nguyen dynasty. It was a kingdom of Vietnam. And it consisted out of the biggest part of today called Vietnam and parts of other France Day countries. It became a French protectorate of the protectorate after a while. So French administered the economy, but you still had a local king or emperor that ruled over there. And look at this. That's the sun symbol right over there. And you see the flames, the blue flames. Flame worship refers to sun worship and who's the sun? Apollo. Okay? And before that, yet another dynasty in Vietnam, and look at this, sun worship again, isn't that convenient? Okay, let's look further, yet the empire of Japan, by the way the flag of Japan didn't change, but look at this, sun worship, the imperial seal was one big sun. Here you have the Korean empire. Look at this. The sun. A quote unquote flower. It's really a hidden pentagram, but okay. With a sun in it. Here you can see the yin yang in the form of a sun. Right over there. The Qin dynasty. Look at this. You have a dragon. Which is a nephilim. And you have the sun. Sun worship, Apollo worship. Why am I showing all of this? Understand. All the rulers of all those dy let me say all those dynasties and all the leaders back then they all worship the beast. The same beast that those in Europe worshipped. So they all belong to this Greek cult. They're not Greek by ethnicity, but they all belong to this Greek cult. They all worship this Greek Nephilim called Apollo or Helios. Okay, so now that you know this, let's talk about this thing called the Vietnam War. Second World War, there was a provisional government for Vietnam, which led to the foundation of the state of Vietnam, a short-lived republic, and look at this. They have the dragon in it. Who does dragon refer to? Satan. Okay. That should tell you enough. But okay. So this state emerged. But later, there was the vision that emerged between North Vietnam and South Vietnam. Now North Vietnam had this flag, which is a red flag with a sun in it. A star is a sun. So that's devil worship right over here. This refers to Apollo. And South Vietnam was the alleged official government that the United States came to defend. Isn't it convenient that the United States was always a defender in all the wars, quote unquote, all the wars it fought? Then they defend human rights, then they defend democracy. Uh, get out of here. But okay. So yet, Vietnam divided into 
and the United States had to quote unquote protect the capitalist economy in the South against the Viet Cong in the North. And it was this incident called the Tonkin incident that led to the real war called the Vietnam because America was under attack. But later it became obvious that there was no attack. And some even admitted in declassified documents that there was no Tonkin incident. Now, why did they conduct this ritual? Just understand the context there. Japan, the Japanese Empire, as you can see here, let me make this big. It became the regional power in Asia in the second half of the 19th century. The Chinese Empire was in stagnation and many of the kingdoms over here was under, were under the administration of, Euro, of Europeans. They were all sun worshippers, so it's just an agreement. But Japan took over most of Asia, and what do you consider South, Southeast Asia? Because the Japanese Empire was about to collapse because they neglected their agriculture. Korea compensated that for a while, but it, it wouldn't take long, so Japan knew they were about to end as an empire. So they did this. And Japan, in that short period of time, they enforced reforms. After this happened, there was an economic bubble that emerged through Japan that affected Asia, connected with the United States, going all the way to Europe. By the way, I know that this is a ball earth, but this is a Wikipedia, so that's why they use the ball earth. Okay? Now look. At the time, the nations over here were rising. So you had new countries that emerged, new nationalities, if you can call it like that. And every one of those nations wanted to find their way in the new model. The new model had the United States at the top, with Japan as the number one in Asia. Chinese, the Chinese, the Chinese Empire became the People's Republic of China, which delivered mass production, which was the only strength they ever had. Korea was quote-unquote divided, I say quote-unquote because uh, there's another apolonistic hoax. So this was a bubble that emerged, but it was just a bubble. It wasn't something that would last forever. But they needed the world to believe that the America was the new norm. They knew that the bubble would uh, fade away if folks stopped believing in it. So they needed to convince the American people, the people of the United States, that the United States was worth it, it as an imperial power. Even though the United States was against imperialism, they still now had imperial power, so they needed to justify this to prevent the the society prevent the society of the United States to fall from for falling apart. Because if the society of the United States fell apart, then the bubble would crash and the nation of here would feel it too. And here's the thing, the ru rulers of all these nations all worship, worship Apollo. Okay, so they all, were all invested in this white man worship. So you need to project the white man as a kind of a savior. So they constructed this situation in which they divided the administration of Vietnam and they pretended as if there was a danger coming over here that America needed to protect. So it was all a ritual. Okay? The ritual, all, the ritual intended to keep the nation of the United States together. Because the Second World War was already over. So people were kind of forgetting about it, so they needed another mass blood sacrifice to unify the people. Because this Apollonistic economy, economic bubble, that the pagan rulers constructed depended on the American people being dumb enough to believe in the hoax. But, he, but the problem was, the Vietnam War, instead of um, solidifying this hoax, it exposed the hoax. So the United States ended up leaving Vietnam, and that's it. They never admitted they lost the war, 
but they just left. Because the violence that they committed over here revealed the ugliness of the Apollonistic system. So now they had to justify the violence, but there was no way for them to justify it. So that's why they stopped operation. If this operation was successful, then America would have come out as the savior of the free Western capitalistic system and the whole of Vietnam would have become a fake republic with the Bing rulers ruling it. But now the Bing rulers had to forfeit this plan and allow quote-unquote victory to the Viet Cong, which was also a project by this, but they needed to do that and they, needed to, uh, they, they wanted to erase the Vietnam War from history. So, so that people would forget about it. Because this was a dangerous point in history for the Ping rulers. Because if this exposure went on worldwide, their rule would have faded away. It would have fallen apart. Because those rituals that they conduct, that we call war, need to be done precisely. If you're not, if you're not done the right way, it will destroy their purpose. Uh, and their purpose is to keep the population in a state of anxiety. By the way, this is from the Red Khmer. was another dictator that emerged in Cambodia. And the sickle and the hammer form an axe, refer to the beast. They all worship the beast, okay? But this is, okay, maybe they call this different in American English, but okay, never mind. What I'm saying here is that the Vietnam War was an orchestrated event to distract the world's population from the bubble, the fragile economic bubble that the United States constructed. The world back then ran on this economic bubble. In the 1990s, this bubble bursted in Asia, so the, so the economies of Asia had to move on. The bubble continued with Europe and to some extent to to Africa but eventually Europe had its own currency called the Euro so there was no need for the American bubble anymore so they had to shift the system in the favor of Asia without harming the white man worship so they con conducted 9-11 as another hoax, which led to other hoaxes, remember all wars are hoaxes, to extend the bubble. Now the bubble burst in 2008, Obama came, Obama's gone, and now we are in the post-imperial era of the USA. So the USA has lost its relevance, has, has lost its supreme relevance in favor of Asia, that's a shift that took place during Obama's term. Why I am mean, feeling all of this is because you need to understand that those hoaxes serve a purpose. They don't just conduct those hoaxes. Okay? The Vietnam War was a failed hoax. And whenever a hoax fails, they cover it up as much as possible. But they couldn't cover it up as much as possible. So, they try to reframe what happened over and over again. That's why Vietnam veterans were often treated like trash. Many of them ended up homeless and all of that. Normally, those that survived those rituals are praised as heroes. They didn't do this with those who went to Vietnam because the hoax failed its purpose. By the way, uh, hold on. No, never mind. Look, if I use a word here that's not common in English, forgive me, I'm not a native English speaker. I'm not using that as an excuse, but sometimes I use words that maybe not familiar to those in English, or maybe I translated it wrong. Just leave me a comment about it. I can take cor correction. Okay, but that's it for now. Keep agreeing with Christ and be at peace.